everyone, my name's Catherine. I'm the Access Officer for the Department of Physics at Oxford University. And today we are going to be having a look at one way to solve question six from the 2013 PAT paper. That question goes like this. Find the equation of the straight line that passes through the centres of the two circles x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 2y equals minus 1 and x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y equals 3. So what we've got, we've got one circle and we've got another circle. We're going to find the centres of them and then we're going to find the equation of the straight line that passes through those two centres. So first things first, standard format of an equation for a circle is uh, x minus xc, where xc is the x-coordinate of the centre of the circle, squared, plus uh, y minus yc squared equals r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. So that's going to give us a circle centred at xc, yc. Now we've got these equations for two circles, but they're not in this standard format, so we can't see straight away what the centres are. So our first job is going to be to uh, transform them into this form. So we're going to start with uh, the first one, x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 2y equals minus 1. And the way to get it into this kind of format is going to be to complete the square. So what's that going to give us? That's going to give us, so we're going to have an x in our first bracket, and then to get the 4x we're going to need a plus 2, because if we multiply out x plus 2 squared that's going to give us x squared plus 2x plus 4, sorry, x squared plus 4x plus 4, so we're going to need to subtract a 4 from there uh, to make sure it all balances out, to make sure we've properly completed our square. So that will give us that x part at the beginning. Then we're going to do the same for the y part, and that is going to give us plus uh, y minus 1 squared minus 1 equals minus 1. So now we're halfway there, we've got the brackets sorted, but we still need to put uh, the all of the spare numbers onto the right hand side. So uh, we're going to have x plus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals uh, minus 1 plus 1, so that's 0, plus 4. So this is a circle centred at uh, minus 2, 1, noting that it's minus xc up here, with a radius of 2. So that's the first circle sorted. We now know the centre of that one. Let's do the same thing for the second circle. So the second circle uh, the equation for that one is x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y equals 3. Uh, so, same process again. Let's get cracking on completing the square. We're going to have uh, x minus 2, all squared, minus 4, plus... Uh, y minus 3 all squared plus 9 equals 3. And then doing the final little bit of rearranging on that, so keeping the brackets we've got the x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 all squared equals, we've got 3 plus 9 which is 40, uh, sorry 3 minus 9, ah oh, sorry that should be a minus shouldn't it, my mistake. 3 plus 9 plus 4, which is 16. So we've now got another circle. This one is centred at uh, x equals 2, y equals 3. And our radius is 4. So we now know the centres of these two circles. The question asked us to find the equation of the straight line that passed through those. So what we're looking for now is the equation of a straight line through two points. So our two points are uh, minus 2, 1 and 2, 3. Standard form of the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient, 
C is the Y intercept. So first thing we're going to do is find the gradient. Gradient of a straight line is the uh, change in Y coordinates divided by the change in X coordinates. So uh, we're going to do this one, take away that one. So that's going to give us on the top 3 minus 1. And on the bottom, it's going to give us 2 minus minus 2. So that is 2 over 4 or a half. So we've got a gradient of a half. We've got uh, points and we've got our gradient. So we can work out C, the y-intercept. So if we just rearrange that, we can see that uh, C equals y minus mx. And we can use any point we like to substitute into that and find our y-intercept. Let's use this one, x equals 2, y equals 3. So uh, C at 2, 3 is going to be uh, y is 3, uh, m is a half, and x is 2. So uh, 3 minus a half times 2 is 3 minus 1, which is 2. So our gradient is a half, our y-intercept is 2, which means that the equation of our line is uh, y equals half x plus 2. And there we go. That is the equation of our straight line through the centre of those two circles as the question asked.